What is up everybody? Welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at some free film overlay packs that we can mess around with in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump straight into it. To get this pack, go on over to Cinepax.com, over to the free pack section, and add the film free sample pack to your cart. Then slide on over to checkout, put in your email, that's where you're going to get the download link, but everything else you can put in whenever, and you'll get your download. When you have the zip file downloaded, go ahead and double click on it to open it up. And what you gotta do is click and drag all the folders inside of it, outside of it, so you can extract them. So I'm just gonna take the first three folders, that's where all the files are. Um, as you can see, there's also a discount code and a link to the tutorials, which is what you're watching right now. Discount code is sample15, it gives you 15% off the full pack if you want this, but today we're using completely free assets that you can use for any of your commercial products. Once you've dragged all your folders out, make sure you go ahead and import them on the media tab. As you can see, I got everything imported here in my media pool, and we can go over to the edit page and start editing. So we got a few different samples in this pack right now. They're all 4K high resolution images and Apple ProRes MOV files. In the Super 8 film, we got a cool gray overlay here that you can play through there is also a cool aspect ratio crop here we'll use that in one second we also have in the scratch sample these cool scratch overlays which are my personal favorite super cool and then dirty film we have these awesome overlays here as well and then in the dirty film we have a cool film strip overlay along with a red countdown effect as well now to test this out I got some cool drummer footage here and I also got a cool cut here where he does this awesome like flip and smash I wish I was that talented but why don't we stylize this a little bit the first thing I'm gonna mess with is the 4x3 aspect ratio crop here it's completely transparent so as you guys see if we just drag the image on top of our timeline and drag it out it just gives it a really cool vintage outline the next thing over here is a cool grain effect now this is super cool because it's just a simple grain effect so you can use this for whatever you want you can use it for an actual background or something but I want to kind of drag this on top and give it a little bit of old-fashioned grain to our entire footage. Now in this particular footage, in this instance, I found that soft light works best for me to give it just a little bit of grain, but not too much. So if I click on soft light right there, as you can see, it creates a very subtle noise and grainy feel to it, but I personally like it a lot. Now another thing to mess with over here in the scratch sample pack, we can mess with this awesome like scratch overlay here. With anything with a black background, you want to send the blend mode to screen because screen will get rid of black backgrounds. So if we drag this in right on top of everything and change this to screen, which is down here at the bottom, um, you can see it's going to blend perfectly together. And I think that's looking pretty sick. Now, if I move this out a little bit, um, there's one point in here where it flashes to white. There it is right there. So I'm going to use my arrow keys and right there on this frame. If I make sure the clip is selected and go ahead and press M, as you can see, it'll drop a marker right there. That way we know exactly what frame the white is on. So I'm gonna drag this over and line up the marker directly with the cut so we create a transition here. So if we play this through, so then if we play this through, we'll have an awesome flash transition. Now, I personally think this works best with white, but of course, if you want to change the colors, you can. So go ahead, click on the clip. You just slide on over to the color page and make sure your clip editor is open. That way you can make sure you have the correct layer selected, which would be this one. Then go over to your RGB right here and just mess with all the outputs. So if I want to make this like a blue color, I could kind of drag up the blue a little bit subtract from the red to just kind of give it a really cool like neon blue color um and if i want to mess with any of the other ones i can i personally kind of like this cool neon glowing color the best and with that done if we go back over to the edit page and we play this through as you can see now it's all blue and it looks pretty cool now when his hands go down he does a big smash on top of the drums i want to go ahead and trim this down a little bit and why don't we take this opportunity to drag in one of the red counter here. Now if you play this one through, this is most likely better to put as like an intro to like kind of start up something. Because there's so many different colors going on, it doesn't really blend too well with like screen or anything. But we can still push it a little bit to make it work for us. So I'm going to drag this in and I do want it to blend just a tad. So I'm going to go over and change this blend mode to something like, uh, let's go back to soft light again. Soft light worked pretty well for me. And if we play this through, 
after that goes down right when he smashes it down i want it to kind of change the tone which is why i'm gonna bring this in so right when he hits the drums bam we got that cool little effect and also you can see it adds a heavier amount of noise as well which it's kind of layering with the grain that we already put on top of it now while i do like all of this noise and i also like these symbols that show up i don't really like the numbers here i don't think they blend too well right now so all i'm gonna do is right around here i'm just gonna chop this down and hold down alt to duplicate it and i'm gonna drag it out a few times so then if we play it through you can see that it loops and that symbol flickers a few times and if we just do it for that amount of time i kind of like how it looks now to push this a little bit further we can of course take this into the color panel as well and if we go over to our basic color correction panels right here we can kind of lower the lift a little bit and raise the gain a little bit so it has a little bit more of a pop to it we could also just go over to our rgb change it to monochromatic and that will get rid of any red color if we don't want any red as you can see went completely black all right and while that's looking all nice and cool there's one more transition that i don't want to leave out here one last thing i do want to show you guys let me drag in like some lighter footage here so you can see this effect better um it would be the dirty film strip overlay here just drag that that on on top of any of your footage here and if you click on it because it's white you're gonna want to switch this to something like multiply let's see where is it uh, multiply the BMM right there multiply and multiply will basically multiply the luminance values of the lower clip and the higher clip and by doing that you're gonna get rid of all the white so as you can see you got little sprockets in the corner that show up and then we also have all these detailed hairs and dust and everything that flies over the screen and it looks really cool if you wanted to change the color on this I would suggest that actually going into the color page you should probably invert it just go over to the effects tab and type in invert and if you drag that in it remaps everything and why don't we click on monochrome just to make it black and white but what this allows us to do if we right click and add a new node right there now we can go into our outputs here and we can kind of adjust the colors to give us like our blue effect that we want again and there we go see what that does so if we go back over to the edit page um, what we need to do, we don't want this on multiply anymore because we inverted it, right? So put it back to screen and as you can see, we got a nice little color change there again as well. And it looks really sick, kind of neon glow. All right, guys, that just about wraps it up for today. So that was an awesome free sample pack that you guys can mess around with. If you guys want a full size pack that comes with tons more assets that you can mess with, go on over to cinepacks.com and use the code SAMPLE15 during checkout. That'll give you guys 15% off your order. It's definitely worth going and checking out, especially if you guys like this. So anyways, guys, have a great day and happy editing. Peace.